What's up guys, this is Pro Warriors. Nowadays, playing console games like PS Vita on PC or laptop is not a big deal. There are a few emulators available that can run PlayStation games on Windows, Mac OS, even Linux operating system for free. Such as emulator is Vita 3K. In this video, we are going to cover how to download and install Vita 3K emulator, full setup process, then the best settings and configuration. After that, how to download PS Vita ROMs and install them on Vita 3K emulator. Please like and subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit the bell button. First, open a browser on your computer, then type on the URL bar vita3k.org. I will leave the link in the description. Before downloading the Vita 3K, first thing we are going to do is check out the minimum and recommended requirements for the Vita 3K emulator. On the Vita 3K website, we will find the quick start menu at the top bar. Just open it in a new tab, then scroll down until you see the section called hardware requirements just have a look at the minimum and recommended requirement vita 3k is the least demanding emulator you just need 4 gb ram and gpu is not mandatory my concern is to show you another very important requirement vita 3k emulator records the latest version of microsoft visual c if you are not sure your pc already has this then go ahead and download and install it now let's download the Vita 3K emulator on the top menu bar. Click on the download option. This will scroll the page down to the download section where you will find various platforms such as Windows, Mac OS, Linux, even Android. So download the emulator according to your operating system. Click on the grab from GitHub below the Windows icon. It will immediately start downloading the file. The size of the file is just 15 megabytes once the download finishes we will need to extract the file because it comes in a chip if you don't have any extractor on your pc or laptop you can download 7 zip which is a reliable and free chip extractor let's right click on the file and extract the windows latest chip once it's done extracting you can delete the zip file from the desktop then double click on the newly extracted vita 3k folder inside this folder you will find an extracted file with a unique icon that is vita3k.exe file now you should have two screens that look like this this is the console screen and the another one is the vita3k emulator our concern is the vita3k so minimize the console screen but don't close the console otherwise the vita3k screen will also collapse First, select the language you prefer to use this app, then select a path where you would like to store the data of Vita 3K. Just create a new folder and give a name like Vita 3K. Now Vita 3K will ask you to download firmware and front package which are mandatory components for Vita 3K. If you click on download firmware, a new tab will be open and it will take you to the PlayStation website. PlayStation provides us with the system software click on the download update if it's not responding then right click on it then open a new tab it will start downloading the system software now go back to the Vita 3k this time click on download font package it will open a new tab in the chrome browser and start downloading the file it will take few minutes to complete the download and it's depend on your internet connection you can see i have successfully downloaded the both files now we need to install them gradually to do that click on the install firmware files it will open the file manager on your computer then install them gradually it will take roughly few seconds to install the files now you can click on next button you can customize the interference of of a Vita 3K such as icon size, grid mode, info bar visible, etc. If everything seems fine, click on the next button. So we have completed the initial configuration of Vita 3K. Then Vita 3K will welcome you with a big notes. Before closing it, make sure you have unticked the show next time option. Vita 3K will encourage you to create a user profile. Just give a name and create a profile. Don't forget to tick on automatic 
automatic user login then start the vita 3k emulator so finally we are in the vita 3k emulator before we are going to play any games let's introduce the functions and options of vita 3k emulator there is an option file at the top right corner that option used to install firmware games and licenses it's better to be mentioned you can only install games using pkg and g format at the middle top board there is a configuration option then click on the settings under the option of core i suggest to use the automatic modules you can also try the manual now switch to the cpu here you have two backend renderers dynamic and unicorn dynamic is preferable for me make sure the optimization option is enabled under the option of the gpu you can change the backend to opengl or vulkan you should try opengl because it can run most of the games but if you see lag or your computer struggling to boot then come back and change it to vulkan v scan and disable surface scan leave them as default vita 3k has the option to set resolution up scale up to 8x which means 4k resolution my recommendation is to use the native display resolution anisotropic filtering set 2x if you enable the fps hex option it will boost fps up to 60 frames per second there is nothing to do with audio you can change button assignment cross or circle under the option of emulator enable performance overlay if you want to see live appears during gameplay i don't think rest of the option has any potentiality so i would like to leave them as default another important option i would like to mention there is a control option the default control method is set to keyboard if you want to change the keys just put your desired key on the control but i found the default keys to be perfect if you have any controller you can select it by using the input device time to install games on the vita 3k emulator before we are going to install any games at first we have to know which games are compatible that means which games are playable on vita 3k emulator on the vita 3k website they have released a compatible game list here you can see green mark playable games if you want to download any games just to select a game for example dragon Ball z then write non pdrm space ps vita that means you have to download the non pdrm ps vita zip file you can say non pdrm ps vita is the format name sorry to say that i can't share any direct links here due to youtube community guidelines you can join our discord server for more information you can see i have downloaded few roms and stored them in a dedicated folder now go back to the vita 3k emulator click on the file then then install zip then import after that you have to select the game file from your internal storage it will take roughly three to five minutes to complete the installation you can see the list of the games you have installed on vita 3k emulator and it's ready to play as you can see i'm playing vita 3k games on my computer surprisingly the vita 3k emulator runs ps vita games very smoothly with decent fps if you think this video is useful please like and subscribe to our channel no more today see you in the next video take care